sometimes when you deliver a meal or a new client, one of the first things they will say was, oh my God, I need it. And it's sad to hear people say, I need the meal, I need the food. It's amazing how many people today, that, especially the elderly, that need this program, not only to socialize, to see somebody, to actually say hi to them, but, but for the food. But it's also low in sodium. It's healthy meals. Not like you're just going to cook at home. It, it's healthy foods, but she was saying, you know, I think my husband has felt a lot better since he's been on these meals. And it was like, this is what you want to hear, right. that, that it's doing what it's intended to do. We've always had emergency meals, always, where, especially in the winter, if we got a snowstorm, we can't deliver, they have extra meals. But a few extra times, they have sent extra meals for the people to make sure with COVID, if anything happened, that, to make sure they do have food in the freezer. Some of the others will complain to me about family not checking enough, not doing enough. Uh, and it's surprising how many are just alone, that just them, and they have nobody. Or if they have family, they say they don't phone. I was delivering to a lady in Waterboro who I know never ever leaves her home. She's early 90s, a sweetheart, and I know she's always, always home. So I got there, and I know she has a hard time getting out of her chair, so I kind of got to wait for her to answer the door. So I rang the doorbell, and she didn't answer. Well, the third time of ringing the doorbell, now I know something's wrong. Number one, of course, her age. She can't walk very good, but I know she's at home. So I finally find a window with a curtain open, and I become a peeping Tom and <laughs> trying to see inside of the window, and I see her laying on the floor and scared me to death. So instantly I called 911, and I got a hold of the Waterboro Fire Department, which was right across the street. So I watched them get in the ambulance and fire truck, and they came over. Uh, my niece is one of the EMTs and a fireman, and she looked through the window, and she could tell that the woman was breathing. And she said, Bob, she's alive. So they tried all the doors. Of course, everything's locked up tight. So finally, they're just going to break the door down to get in, and one of the firemen happened to try a window, and the window opened right up. So he went in and came out. She had broken a shoulder, and of course she couldn't get off the floor. She couldn't move, but she was so sweet. They finally got her ready, and they brought her out to the, to the ambulance. She held my hand and said hello with a smile on her face, and I'm like, what a what a lady. Everybody I know that does it feels the same way. They, you know, I'll be back at the shop, I call it the shop, and get my coolers and stuff in, and sometimes other people will come in with air coolers, and, and they're just like me, telling Deb of who didn't feel good or who wasn't home, and, and they really watch their clients too, as to know them as people, not just somebody you're delivering food to, as people, and they know their habits, and yeah, and able to get help when needed, and it's just a good feeling to know that little bit that we can be there if somebody needs the help. I love every day of it. I love every minute of it, and if anybody's interested, do it because it's awesome. The people that you meet. And sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's sad, but it's all pretty awesome.